Hello again, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound here with you. Thank you for joining me once again for another spirit review video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Jefferson's Reserve Old Rum Cask Finish Bourbon. Now this bourbon is bottled at 90.2 proof. Retails roughly around $80 to $100. Now if you're familiar with the Jefferson's Bourbons, lately they've been doing a lot of cask finishing. They've been doing some wine, Cabernet finished uh, bourbons, and so on. So well, to see this one, it was kind of stuck out because you don't see very many rum finished bourbons, all right? And we're going to find out how well that works. Now, as for what type of rum barrels this was using, happened to be Gosling's. Happened to be these barrels. The Gosling's Family Reserve. Old rum right there on the label. Hence the old rum designator on that label. Now, the story behind the Gosling's rum is that apparently it spends roughly around 15, 16 years in those barrels before going into those blends. So, for the, take one of those casts that have that much maturation of rum they're going to be just probably dense with that into the wood so to create this bourbon uh, Trey Zoller took uh, Jefferson's source bourbon about eight year old bourbon put it into one of those casks let it finish for 15 months the end result is just over nine years of maturation in total for this bourbon now this happens to be from batch one bottled 9,929 oh real quick about this specific bottle. I must say a special thank you to Sam. And you know who you are, Sam. Thank you for letting me shoot this video because what happened was Sam had brought this bottle over to my home, cracked it, we tasted it. I found it rather interesting and I thought, you know what, I need to get a bottle of that so I can shoot a review. He said, just hang on to it and shoot the video. So that's what we have here, that specific bottle. Now I will be going out and getting one for my collection, just haven't done it quite yet, okay? So thank you, Sam. All right, to the nosing. brown sugar caramel but then you get that that molasses rum is still coming it's coming through right there on the nose dried fruits and when you get those that's really kind of sweet character with the dried fruits a little bit of a almost a smidge of like a it's a cinnamon clove dried orange peels and a little black licorice just a little bit I'm very sensitive I don't really don't care for black licorice so when I say that it's it's very mild. It is very, very mild. There's also a... So I guess, yeah, that's what that would be. There's old leather, a little tobacco leaf. You have to search around that glass, but there's some tobacco and old leather notes in here. The oak is definitely uh, one of the big players in this glass. But overall, really, really nice nose. All right, I think the... The uniqueness of that rum coming through is adding mostly of that molasses and that dried fruit character. Okay. All right, to the taste. Good medium viscosity. It's not too oily, but not too thin. My initial thought on this was that that bourbon without that rum finish probably was going to be very very bitter dry not very good at all probably going to come off a tad thin as well so the rum here is really supporting this bourbon and there's so sweet brown sugar caramel molasses is immediately right there already being um, uh, joined by like a really big Wow, it's still still going. So it was a really big rush of uh, roasted nuts, bitter dark chocolate, the cinnamon, the clove, the dried orange peels, the dried fruits all kind of came in right after that initial just kind of sweet, easy entry. They just kind of all rushed in right there on the mid palate. As it started to roll over, I noticed like right now, the majority of those, while they hit kind of intensely, they kind of backed off fairly fast. So here on the back end, I'm left with a little bit of that sweetness from the front, some oak resin coming through that just kind of is still rolling along. Chew on it, tobacco leaves, loads of tobacco leaves, some old leather in here, some dried fruit still. Yes, very, very nicely done. It may come off a little bit, it's kind of a, a weird 
thing happening because it does enter kind of sweet, right? You're thinking that's going to happen because it's a rum finished bourbon, and it does, but it doesn't overall. The impression I get from this is not really of a sweet bourbon because while it enters that way on the palate, it really dries, gets a roasted nut, bitter, chocolate, drying finish on the back end. Then you're left with that really nice tobacco and, and um, old leather quality to it on the, on the finish. Dried orange peels in with those dried fruits. Really nice. Some mulling spices is what that is. Overall, very happy with it. Um, yeah, at that price point, I'm happy with it. Anyway, if you happen to see it out there and you don't mind uh, some of that, some dryness, again, kind of a mixture of a sweet, not so sweet bourbon. It's kind of unique, but it, again, it's a unique finish, right? So anyway, I enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Keep leaving those great comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Everybody have a good evening and cheers.